The official titles for Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender live action adaptation have finally been revealed. And today I'm here to tell you what I think each and every single episode will be about. I'm going to be combining official information we got in the past along with some leaks that you may have forgot about to figure out what these episodes are going to be. Netflix will be having to make some important changes and cuts to the original episodes, so stay tuned until the very end so you don't miss anything. This was originally found by Night Edged Media, but we have Avatar News here to thank for this cool little graphic. Alright, without further ado, let's get into the episodes. Now there are only 8 episodes here, but keep in mind that the total runtime is the exact same as the cartoon. Episode 1 is called The Last Airbender. Now I'm pretty confident that they're going to be combining episode 1, episode 2, and probably episode 3 as well in this one hour episode. We actually know how this episode begins from a leaked scene. Uh, if you don't want to hear it, you know what to do, but I've already made several videos on the leak, so you guys probably know it, but for everyone new here, I'll go ahead and go over it anyway. According to leaks, the episode is going to start off with the Fire Nation attacking the Southern Air Temple. Then Fire Lord Sozin will personally confront Monk Gyatso and be like, where's Aang at? Where is he? Where's the avatar? I need him. And then Monkey Yats is like, I don't know where he's at. And if I did, I wouldn't even tell you. And then Sozin personally ends him. And then we transition into the boat scene that we all know and love. Now the boat scene was confirmed to be happening. This was confirmed by one of the directors. That wasn't me just making a spicy edit. I know I do that sometimes, but no, that's actually confirmed. But they'll be in their boat. They'll find Aang. And then, you know, we're just going to go through the motions of the first few episodes. You guys know how it goes. I don't, I don't need to explain that. Also, the images that we got last Saturday, uh, uh, they weren't just promotional images, they are actual screen caps of episode 1. This was confirmed by Netflix themselves. This episode will probably end with them going to the Southern Air Temple and seeing Monk Gyatso dead. What's happening with the world will finally set in with Aang and he's gonna realize that he is the last airbender here. This will also be the first time that we see Aang going into the Avatar state. Now I am actually really looking forward to how they're going to do the Avatar state. Aang's arrow is not a solid blue block like in the cartoon, so it's not gonna glow the same. Aang has designs in it. He has all these fancy things in it. So they can't just do the glowing block, right? Are they only going to have the designs glow or are they going to have it all glow but the designs be slightly darker? I really don't know. What do you guys think? Episode 2 is called Warriors and now this episode is fairly obvious. Uh, this will be the Kyoshi Warriors episode. We did learn that Netflix will be expanding upon this episode just a little bit. Uh, potentially even adding Kyoshi into the mix here. We were confirmed to be getting Suki's mother as well in this episode. Episode. Uh, it'll be super interesting to see if Aang meets Kyoshi first before Roku. I wouldn't really mind that change, but it does change Roku's whole dynamic with Aang. I always felt like Aang was closest to Roku because he met him first and he was able to spend the most time with him compared to all the other avatars. We see even in the comics when Aang is older, he is still calling upon avatar Roku first before anyone else. So it would be an interesting change, I guess. Uh, we know the live action universe is separate. It will be a separate canon, so don't expect things to be exactly the same. Again, that's just me speculating. We're not confirmed to be getting Kyoshi in this episode. That's just kind of word on the street that that's going to happen, but we don't know. It's not confirmed. Next up for episode three, we have Omashu. Now, this is where things get kind of tricky. This next part is complete speculation, so please don't go spamming around what I said is absolute facts. This is me just speculating, so please, I am making that clear. I know you guys spammed the subreddit with what I said last time, and it just wasn't okay, guys. It was me speculating. Notice how the northern air Air Temple isn't anywhere on this list. So to me at least, it's safe to assume that they're skipping it. Now here's what I think is going to happen. Aang and everybody is going to Omashu. He'll meet King Bumi and will go through the motions. They may change the whole games thing, I don't really know if that's going to happen or not. But notice how the very next episode on this list, episode 4, is called Into the Dark. This tells me that something is going to go very wrong. I think something is going to happen, something very unexpected, and the Fire Nation is going to invade Omashu. But this time, instead of Bumi giving it up, they legitimately lose Omashu, and Aang has to see his friend getting captured, and this is why the episode is called Into the Dark. Now here's why it makes sense to me. They get the massive battle from the Northern Water Tribe, and they also make Bumi losing Omashu make sense, because him giving it up and letting his people get imprisoned, it just never 
sat right with me. It just never did. Also, they're going to be saving money on the VFX because they won't need to do three massive battles in one season. They'll be able to skip out on the whole Northern Water Tribe battle. I don't think their budget is enough to have three full-scale massive war battles. In my opinion, it's better to skip out on one of them to make two quality battles than three mid-battles. Next up for episode six, we have Spirited Away. Now, I think this is going to be the Winter Solstice episode where Aang meets Roku. The coolest thing about this episode, uh, besides Roku, that is confirmed to be happening is Heibai, the giant panda spirit. That spirit was confirmed to be in the show. I really don't know how Netflix is going to make that spirit look real, but I'm looking forward to it. This will also be the first time we ever get to see a Roku in live action form as the last Airbender movie skipped Roku for whatever reason. And instead of talking to Roku, he talked to a giant dragon head, which was, I, I don't even know. Episode six is called Masks, and they're probably just going to dedicate the entire hour to the whole blue spirit episode. Maybe they'll add stuff, maybe they won't. I don't know. Let's move on. For episode seven, we have The North. Uh, again, another safe episode to guess because this is definitely going to be the gang going to the northern water tribe i'm really interested to see if netflix is going to make katara master waterbending again in three days like she did the cartoon i know they want to make it just a little bit more realistic than the cartoon and this has always been one of my gripes that she just became a master overnight after sucking at it for months it would be a lot cooler to me to see her getting progressively better at waterbending and then the final tip of the iceberg is her battle with zuko and that's where she starts really putting it together because you know battle experience is probably a lot better than practicing some waves in front of a teacher the final episode the season finale is just called legends now i'm assuming this episode is going to be the full scale invasion on the northern water tribe Aang will be kidnapped by zuko when he's in the spirit world you know all of that will play out the same but i'm assuming the past avatars will help him out here and that's why it's called legends uh we do know for a fact that avatar Kruk has an expanded role in this show maybe instead of roku being like hey ko's over there and points him in the right direction instead it's avatar Karuk. since him and ko actually share a very dark past together as you guys all know Ko stole his wife as punishment for his past lives or something like that. It's been so long since I've read it. Maybe Kiyoshi also comes back and tells him the Fire Nation has got to go. Uh, I don't really know. But if I had to bet, I'd say Roku, Kiyoshi, and Kruk will all be in this episode. Anyways, that's pretty much it. See ya.